Hi, I'm Olga. And I'm Alistair. And we are members of the disinformation team at BBC Monitoring. We look out for fake news, disinformation and hoaxes. Over the past month alone, we've been looking at misinformation and misleading claims about the coronavirus on social media. And we've seen a lot of them. Some health advice that we've seen on social media is outright dangerous, like drinking bleach, for example. Bleach? It's diluted with water, but still bleach. Yeah, it's still bleach. Drinking and consuming that kind of solution uh, might have severe side effects like diarrhea and very severe vomiting. Yeah, well, uh, don't drink bleach. I mean, that's the take home message. But we've also seen less extreme advice um, on social media uh, about preventive measures to um, protect yourself from coronavirus. And uh, this, this advice suggests drinking water. Yeah, and not just a bit of water. This is like drinking water every 15 minutes, isn't it? Uh, we won't deny that drinking water is good for you, but drinking these volumes of water isn't going to help you in the slightest. There's a technological side to the uh, theories about the coronavirus as well. Like what? Like uh, 5G technology. 5G technology? Yeah, that's... What's wrong with it? Well, there's nothing wrong with 5G technology, unless you're a conspiracy theorist who says that uh, the, the radio waves used by this mobile telephony system uh, are breaking down people's immune systems. What evidence do they have? It's all circumstantial insofar as uh, Wuhan, where the, where the coronavirus uh, first originated, it was one of the first cities in China to, to uh, have a 5G switch on. Yeah, in fact, uh, one such conspiracy theory suggests that uh, the, the coronavirus was patented back in 2015, so quite a few years ago, and is uh -huh. part of a global big pharma conspiracy plot um, that wants to get people vaccinated. Big pharma is one of these things that, that doesn't seem to go away amongst conspiracy theorists. It, it, it always seems to be about the pharmaceutical companies trying to gouge money out of patients. But when you look at evidence, for example, of that big pharma conspiracy theory, you quickly find out that the patent document is actually for another coronavirus, avian coronavirus. That's a completely that different a completely, virus altogether. Exactly. It's a completely different strand because uh, coronavirus is a family of viruses and it includes the novel coronavirus. But that document had nothing to do with it. That, yeah, uh, for, for some theorists, uh, Details don't really matter. Another theory alleges that the uh, novel coronavirus is a bioweapon. A bioweapon? Yeah, uh, uh, people claiming that it has been created in a lab, uh, accidentally got out or, or was purposely released in, into the public, uh, for whatever reason is unclear. But is there any evidence to support them? Well, well of course there isn't, but uh, once the conspiracy gets rolling, they are very, very difficult to stop.